Turkey, my home, a beautiful and ancient land. Many times over the course of many centuries has this area of the world changed hands, often with bloodshed. Bloodshed leads to death, and death brings about ghostly apparitions and hauntings. Today, I bring you the two most haunted places in Turkey. So sit back, relax, and listen. The mysterious ghost village of Kayakui. The ghostly, deserted ruins of this once bustling town are nestled against the Taurus Mountains, close to the world famous beaches and yacht filled harbour at Ölü Deniz. Although the stone buildings are roofless and weathered, and the narrow streets worn with age, this is not an ancient city, but a modern ruin, deserted for political reasons in the 1920s. Originally built in the 1700s, the town, called Kamilosos in Greek, was home to as many as 20,000 Greek Orthodox residents by the early 20th century. However, after World War I, the collapse of the Ottoman Empire led to the land grabs of the Greco-Turkish War of 1919 to 1922. The resounding loss of the Greeks in this war ended with violence and retribution, which was often aimed at the remaining Greek Orthodox community within the new Turkish borders, and, in turn, against the Muslim Turks in Greece. Hundreds of thousands of Greeks fled the violence in Turkey, which led the governments to agree to a mutual compulsory population exchange starting in 1923 in order to staunch the bloodshed. One of the main victims of this violent period was the village of Kayakui. While most of the population made it out alive, the unnerving ghostly presence that pervades throughout this deserted town hints at a grisly fate met by many poor, unfortunate souls. In Kayakui, approximately 350 homes now sit empty and mostly roofless, along with two Greek Orthodox churches and the fountains and cisterns that watered the city. Harsh winters and strong winds have stripped the buildings down to ruins, making the town look ancient. Although Kayakui Ghost Village lies a short distance from the bustling and popular tourist resorts of Fethiye and Erludeniz, it remains deserted. It is lifeless. The houses are crumbling and the streets are empty. However, there is an aura and an overwhelming presence that hovers over the village. One recent eyewitness account of the village describes it thus. It was very strange. There was a huge mountain surrounding it with small stone huts scattered all along it. Lots of animals such as dogs, camels and donkeys were wandering around. And all the people were huddled in one small mass. Not one person acknowledged that we were there the whole time. It was like something out of a film. Most of the animals seemed unnaturally restless. The dogs were barking and the donkeys were screeching and bucking. We took some pictures of the place as it was really interesting. We noticed in the far corner, near where the camels were, a dog tied to the fence and a donkey tied to the tree. I took a picture of the donkey because he was cute but noticed that on the picture there was a grey, blue mist hovering around him. It looks like someone was stood next to me smoking and has blown smoke in front of the lens. But none of us were smoking, 
and it was a perfectly clear day. The mysterious underground city of Derinkuyu. In 1963, a man in the Nevshehir province of Turkey knocked down a wall inside his home. Behind it, he discovered a mysterious room. The man continued digging and soon discovered an intricate tunnel system with additional cave-like rooms. What he had discovered was the ancient city of Derinkuyu, an underground city, part of the Cappadocia region in central Anatolia. The elaborate subterranean network included discrete entrances, ventilation shafts, wells, and connecting passageways. It was one of dozens of underground cities carved from the rock in Cappadocia thousands of years ago. Hidden for centuries, Derinkuyu's underground city is the deepest known underground city in the country, and possibly the world. While there is no consensus for who is responsible for building Derinkuyu, many groups have occupied the underground city over the centuries, mostly to escape a bloodthirsty death. During the Byzantine era, the underground city was known as Malacopeia. Early Christians used the tunnels to escape persecution. During the raids from the Muslim Umayyad and Abbasid dynasties, over time, the need for underground shelter in Cappadocia ebbed and flowed, according to the murderous intentions of the different ruling empires. In peacetime, tunneling efforts were reduced as resources were diverted back toward the surface. During these times, the subterranean city served as cold storage facilities and underground barns. However, there have been plenty of occasions when the tunnels were used to hide from would-be murdering imperial forces. During the Roman persecutions of the 2nd and 3rd centuries, and the Arab raids between the 8th and 10th centuries, use of the underground cities increased and tunnels were expanded. Derinkuyu was more than just residences, storage and tunnels. Interestingly, when residents fled underground, business continued as usual. Commercial spaces included communal meeting areas, dining rooms, grocers, religious places for worship, even shopping. All of this history, so much of it violent, has not left the underground city without its fair share of ghostly visages and well-documented cases of haunting. Indeed, Derinkuyu is commonly referred to as the city of ghosts. Many tourists report seeing phantom figures throughout the tunnel networks. Adding to the mystery is the fact that only about 10% of the underground city is accessible to the general public.